Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll learn how to deploy Flutter app uh, on the server and Linux server. I'll uh, walk you through step by step. So this is the Flutter project I have and uh, this is uh, right now I'm in the terminal. Okay, so in the terminal, let's run this project locally. To run a project locally, you will do flutter run d and then chrome. So it will uh, run the project in uh, chrome browser and it might take a few moments. Okay, all right. So, uh, well, let it compile and uh, connect it on the local browser. And at the same time, we'll take a look at that, the other things we need to do. So we have to come over here. This is our website. Over here, I laid out the steps that I need to do step by step. Oh, yes. Right now, our Flutter app is getting started, as you can see from the browser. Okay, this is the app name. And now, eventually, it started. So this is the app that I have hosted it locally. Now, we'll see how to host it on the browser. Uh, sorry, on the server itself. Okay. So... Uh, to do that uh, we have to follow some steps okay the first thing we have to follow it's this command flutter web build so let's go ahead and run it so first I need to uh, stop this uh, process over here okay so now we'll copy paste this one let's go ahead and do it so just copy paste this one in your root folder flutters root folder uh, in your project folder uh, inside this one so now as you can see that it's compiling and it might take a bit of moment okay all right so that's the first step we are doing now let's go ahead and look at the second step uh, well it says that uh, once the build is done then you need to copy everything inside this web folder build web folder which is this one so we need to copy paste and then it says that we need to zip them into a new file we can name it anything so let's go ahead and do it let's see if the build has been done yes the build has been done and now we are inside this folder this is the flutter project and now over here we are we need to build uh, sorry zip this files all these files from here to here okay let's uh, copy paste and we don't need to copy paste them actually we can directly compress them all right so this is the file uh, archive.zip and it contains all of these files okay let's see what else it, it says okay so we are done with this and now it says step three go to linux machine and uh, we have to create a folder the folder's name is web dot .com, but it could be any name you want but this is the name we would be using to visit our website from the browser once the hosting is done and everything else is done okay so let's go ahead and create a folder like this okay so i'll create mkit there um web.debestech.com okay fine and what else it says it says after that we need to sit into this folder and create another folder the folder's name is public flutter okay so i'll copy this one so let's go inside this folder okay well this folder is empty so we'll do mkit there yes so now we have this folder okay it's called public flutter and next step uh, four is we need to create these two files app.js and pack, pa uh, package json so let's go ahead and create that so we'll create a file using vim editor so we'll call app.js and uh, later on it says that we need to copy all this code in the app.js file Let, let's go ahead and do it so we'll just copy all this content over here and we'll save it so wq save it and we need to create another file it's called package.json let's go ahead and do it so vim this one it's open now let's go ahead and copy all this content over here and we'll copy it wq all right we are done now let's go to step five step five it says we need to install node.js but which i already installed early and uh, I guess I did let's check it okay let's go ahead and run this command to install node.js 
Okay, nothing to do because Node.js has already been installed. I have the latest version. Next, it says that we need to run this command. Let's go ahead and do it. Perfect. It's installing. And next, we need to install this cookie cursor. Perfect. And next, we need to install this uh, Morgan dependency. Okay, perfect. So, step six. Uh, well, it says that uh, the folder in zip2, step two, we need to put it in public Flutter folder, which we created in step two. Okay, and we need to use any uh, FTP client or party client, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so I'm over here. So here I have, we should have this uh, web dot, this one, and uh, this file over here. As you see, we have everything ready inside, node, uh, node modules and things like that. Now we need to copy this file, which we have early over here. We, we zipped it. So just uh, copy paste, drag it over here, and now it's loading. Okay, it's done loading. Now we'll go to our terminal, and uh, we'll be able to see in our public Flutter directory, we have this one. So what do we could do? We can unzip it, unzip archive, okay. Uh, I don't know, well, I guess yes, 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 yes. Okay, done, all right. Okay, so now we have this uh, uh, Dart file, but in JS format and things like that. So uh, now what do, what do we need to do? So it says step seven. So we need to create a virtual host for this uh, uh, website. So what do, all we need to do, we need to copy paste this uh, thing. Because without virtual host, we won't be able to point it from outside world so let's go ahead and copy it but looks like I'm not able to copy though I'm not sure why so okay now we are good so now let's go ahead and open a virtual host so copy paste this things over here and make sure this this name is same as your folder name from where you are, we, you want to uh, access this and this is also your domain name actually it could be www it could be secondary domain anything you want Right, let's go ahead and save it and now see uh, step eight okay all right so it says that do this one let's go ahead and run this command in our terminal okay all right actually there is another step that's not written in there so all we need to do you need to step back one over here and then uh, that should be actually step nine. So we need to run our node application, which is app.js. Okay, perfect. So hopefully it's running now. So the next thing we want to do, we want to run this one in our terminal, uh, sorry, in our browser. Uh, and we'll see that if we can access our web application from there. So let's go ahead and run it from here. Okay. So we are waiting if we can able to uh, visit it from here. It looks like we are going to visit it because this is the terminals, uh, our website title name, it's all, which already showed up. And I guess uh, it's loading the application. We can see from here. Mm, well, yes. Okay, perfect. So loading has been done and yes our website is alive congratulations if it's the first time you are uh, loading website uh, on server okay so definitely it is helpful video and if you liked it and if you learned something please don't forget to subscribe and share the video thank you so much